everyone, it's Tara here from One Heart Many Hats, and today I'd like to share with you my curriculum choices for third grade. This year my daughter will be in fourth grade, my middle daughter will be in kindergarten, and my little guy will be turning three years old. But since we've been through third grade, I thought it'd be the perfect time to share with you the materials that we used, what we liked and maybe didn't like so much, and also at the end of this video I'll be sharing with you our history curriculum, which was my own. I did my own thing and I really wanted to, to share with you what we did. So if you wanna know more, stick around to the end of this video. Okay, so to get started, we'll do reading. All about reading level four. We started doing all about reading back when my daughter was in first grade and we started with level two. And I can't say enough good things about this program. I know it's really popular. You can go to their website and learn more about how the program works. And you can also do, they have some assessments so that you can know which level to start your child with. It's just a really great program. The readers that they do have stories that are very simple and wholesome and it is made in a way that is so easy for for the instructor there's a teacher's manual that is scripted so you don't there's no planning involved you just read what it says do the activities which again the activities are all done for you you might just have to do a little bit of cutting and pasting but even then you can have your your learner do it for themselves so i love all about reading and I'm going to be using level one this year for my kindergartner, so there you go. Um, what else can I say about All About Reading? The other thing that is really cool about All About Reading is that by the time your learner gets through levels one through four, they should be able to decode any word, even up to a college level word. So that's really great. Spelling Connections. This is made by Zanner Blazer. I think I hope I'm saying that right. And it is meant so that your child is not just doing one subject. While they're doing spelling, they're also doing thinking, phonics, um, they're doing writing, and they're doing um, even some math in there. So um, this was recommended to us by our supervising teacher. We do uh, our homeschooling through a charter, a public charter, and um, our teacher had used this in the classroom, so I thought, okay, if she thought it was pretty good, we'll give it a try, but it's not traditional in its approach at all. And I was looking for something that my daughter could do more independently, and this wasn't that. It just wasn't the right fit for us. And this year we'll be using something that is more straightforward, more that your, you know, your old school spelling program where they're, you're writing some sentences, doing maybe some crossword or word searches, and that type of thing. So, but it's, I mean, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't for us. Uh, moving along, I'll show you what we did for grammar. For grammar, we used Grammar and Punctuation Level 3 by Evan Moore. I used the Level 2 book with my daughter last year, and I liked its straightforward approach. Evan Moore books are really good. They're meant more for classroom use, so they really keep the teacher in mind and make it very simple to grab from. The way this um, book works is that there's 25 rules for grammar. Each rule is explained and there and then there's some simple activities to go um, along with that lesson. It's really easy to pick up this book and get exactly what you want. So if your learner needs some help with possessive nouns, you can turn right to the page with possessive nouns, go over the rule for them, and then do some practice with it. We're not going to be using that this book um, this year but I would definitely use it again and it's a good book to pull from when your child needs a little bit extra help learning a concept. Now the other thing that we used for language arts um, is Spectrum Phonics Level 3. I really love Spectrum books. I think that they are very affordable. This book retails for only $9.95 here in the U.S. And I think it's a lot of bang for your buck. They're really well done. They're meant to correlate with state standards. And so I feel like by doing these books, I make sure to avoid any gaps in her learning. So I'll show you an example here. Um, it was more than just phonics. There was also um, some rules for spelling. And this page here looks like it's uh, plurals and possessives. And um, it was just really good. 
you'll see that in this page I had her write her answers with a highlighter marker and that was just to keep things fun she sometimes gets bored by looking you know doing the same workbook so I try to spice things up by letting her do stuff like that or sometimes I would write the problems on a dry erase board and have her answer them and like kind of pretend that she's the teacher and she just loves that for science, I chose The Building Blocks of Science Book 3 by Real Science for Kids. Now the reason why I picked this uh, book in particular was because I was looking for something that was religiously neutral. Um, I didn't want to necessarily use a secular book that she'd ha find in the classroom, and I didn't necessarily want a faith-based book either. So having one that was religiously neutral would be a good pick, especially because we homeschooled through a public charter. So um, this seemed like the best route to go. And I'd been looking for something that was fun and that was meaty, um, that wasn't just is so basic because that's what I found in our first few years of homeschooling that all the science was just really kind of it seemed watered down but real science for kids explains everything in a really simple way like even more difficult concepts so let me find a page in here to give you an example this on this page um, they're teaching um, atoms and molecules and this is a picture showing a soap molecule and you can see there's like it's a cartoon and everything is pretty much written to their grade level so I, oftentimes I would have my daughter read the text so that you know she's basically teaching herself and at the end of each of the lessons there are two experiments that they can do now that was kind of the down side of this curriculum for us um, simply because I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old two-year-old at the time I couldn't devote all of the time into the experiment so there's 19 lessons or units in this book and we probably only did two experiments the whole year which is kind of sad but you know it is what it is so we did the best that we could given the, you know this season in my life so I would definitely recommend this to somebody who has a, a learner that loves to do science experiments and a mom that has the time to do them with, with their child. So um, I recommend that you take a look at their website where you can see some samples of their different books and see if it might be something that would work for you in your home. For math, we chose Teaching Textbooks Math 3. This has been such a huge deal in our house. Math used to be kind of a bad word around here. Um, we've tried Math UC, Primary Mathematics, Math Mammoth, and although those are good choices, they just didn't work out in our household. My daughter it tends to be more of a perfectionist, and if she didn't understand a concept right away, like she'd get frustrated, she'd blame me, she would cry, I would cry, and it was just a big mess. So that's how it was in our house until a a good friend and mommy um, that I know <laughs> recommended teaching textbooks. What's so cool about it is that it's like having a tutor at the push of a button. It comes with a set of four CD-ROM and with the, this big book here and the big book serves two purposes. One, your student can write their work inside the book and figure out their answers and two, should anything go wrong with your computer, you have a backup. You can flip right to the lesson, uh, read through the um, instruction, and help your student figure out the answer. It's very simple. So we're, we're gonna be sticking with this program because of how simple and effective it is, and also because it helps me in that she can do her math independently while I maybe do reading or math out of a textbook with my kindergartner. So it's a win-win for us. For history, I decided that we would learn about the 50 states. We started on the East Coast and learned about the 13 colonies and made our way all the way to California, which is the state that we live in. And it was such a good time learning this with my daughter. I had looked into Road Trip USA by Confessions of a Homeschooler but instead I did my own thing. I thought I'd save a few dollars and I thought, hey, I can do this. So I mapped out the 36 weeks in the school year and um, 
we did one to two states per week and I had her do fun activities along the way from this book here. This is See the USA. I purchased this from Rainbow Resource, which is one of my favorite websites. And I picked this one because it was at her grade level. It's for third and fourth graders, and it also came with a free map, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, some of the work pages were a little bit more advanced for her simply because they threw in some math questions in there, but overall it was uh, a good book to pull from and she enjoyed it. So I would use this again for one of my other kids. We also did state reports like this one. Um, I would have her fill out a report for each state. And this I think I printed from um, either from Scholastic's uh, teacher file box or I may have just found this by Pinteresting. So there you have it. She would draw the state flower, the state bird, we found stickers with the state flags and that sort of thing. And sometimes during the school year she would get a little bit bored with doing the state reports. So I'd give her another option like making a collage or we would pull from this book, um, Cantering the Country, and do activities from here. And we also read lots of books. It was so much fun going to the library and I found some particular series of books that really uh, helped us with our learning. One of them, I have them written down here, was um, Celebrating the USA or Celebrating State Books by Green Light Series. And I'll link all of this below. I'll link everything that I used um, down below in the description box. I also found Discover America State by State Alphabet Books um, by Sleeping Bear Press and they were so well done. These were like the meat of our state learning. Um, the illustrations were beautiful. We learned interesting facts about each state, famous people, the history from Native Americans, and it would, they're just really well done. Um, I also had her, when she was doing her state reports, I'll go back a little bit, um, she would use this Scholastics book, The United States of America, and she would write down the facts that are in here. They're really pretty pictures in here. So this is Oklahoma, has facts about the state. And um, this was her favorite to turn to. Um, the other thing we did was we read books like Little House on the Prairie, we read Farmer Boy, we read Josefina from the historical American Girl series, and we also learned about um, some tall tales. I used this book by Marie Pope Osborne, and it was really, it was really neat. She learned about Paul Bunyan, Johnny Appleseed, um, who else was in here? Um, Pico Spill, just all of your, your American Tall Tales, and again, we like, we like pictures. Pictures are fun. And the illustrations in here are pretty cool. And I had fun reading these to her because I'd like get in character and act silly and the kids loved it. So let's see. So this is kind of like one of the pictures in here. Yeah. So there you have it. That is what we did for history. And what I'd like to do, given that I have the time, I gotta work towards this, is piece this all together and have my own curriculum uh, his, for history to offer to you. Um, but that is a big assignment and I'm going to take the recommendation of a friend and just go for it, put it all together and um, make it available to you homeschool moms for just a small fee. So um, that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. It has been hard to, it has been so hard to film this video. I've been doing this for a few hours. We had kids in the background and dogs barking in the background and my lighting wasn't good. It's just one of those days, but I persevered and we made it to the end. And yes, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you'd like to see more of my videos, 
Um, coming up, I'd like to give you some tips if you're just starting out homeschooling and also um, share with you my favorite websites and resources. So stick around.